Hi, we're going to give you a short little instructional video of how to seed uh, with our systems. So a couple things you want to know is there is no absolute right and wrong way to do it. Different growers do things their own way and what works for them in the particular location. But what I'm going to show you is how we seed here and what kind of parameters we set for our seeding. So first of all, you start out with um, one of our empty propagation trays. And what we have, let me take our oasis out, we just use um, some of these little 1020 trays right here. They're handy for seeding. Um, and then you can see we cut off the end right there, so then when we lift it up, we can just kind of scoot it out here. And you'll see how I do that. But what this allows us to do is when we put our oasis in here to seed, like this, we can thoroughly soak it. You want to get the oasis completely wet. And we use um, nutrient water to do that. We don't use plain water to do that because nutrient water will actually charge the um, oasis and give those seedlings and those seeds their, their best, best chance for 100% uh, germination. So if we go over here, this is our little prop tray right here. And I'm just going to show you we have, for example, our pH is set at about 5.8, which is perfect. It should always be between about 5.5 and 6. And if you see, we keep our EC at 1.2, somewhere like that. Now, some people keep their EC right around 0.9. Some people keep it a little bit higher. All of that is fine. Um, we like to keep it at about 1.2. In our actual system where we're growing everything, we keep our EC at 1.4. So what this does is it gets the, the seeds germinated and charged so when we do transplant them into our big system, they're not shocked by having all, sort, um, all of a sudden some really powerful nutrients hitting their roots. Because by the time they're ready to go, if you kind of take a look, these aren't quite ready to go. These are only about a week old. But you can see there's already roots coming out on them. And these roots right here are used to the 1.2 that we have sitting in our um, prop tray. And, if, uh, and so then when they go into, the one, into our big system at 1.4, all they're doing is gathering up a little bit more nutrients. So that's, that's how we want to do it. So we charge our nutrient, we charge our uh, oasis with nutrient water. And I'm just going to take some right out of here like this. Um, if you don't have your propagation system handy, just make up a little bit of nutrient water in something like this. Now, we also, again, this is completely at the grower's discretion. We use something called essential, and we only use it in the germination stage. It's just a vitamin. Um, we don't use it in the full system. We only use it in the propagation stage, and it's really just a vitamin. So what we're gonna do you can see when, when it pours out, you're gonna see how thick and viscous and brown this is. But what you're gonna do is this is a one gallon, and again, it's all an estimate right now. It's what you as a grower are learning to do and what, what your plants respond to in your area. So we're gonna pour a little bit in here, and I go mostly by color. So depending on how much water I have on in there, you want it to be this nice, thick brown color. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pour it over your growing medium, whether it's oasis or rock wool or anything else you have. You're going to try and get it all over however many cubes, whatever sheets you have in there. And then once I do that, I'm always going to, I, I add a little bit more nutrient water because you want the oasis to get fully, you want it to fully wick up all the water so it's completely saturated and you can see if you come over here you can see what the oasis looks like when it's dry you can see what it looks like when it's wet so you want to make sure that you're gonna fill it all the way up to the top so that everything gets fully soaked just going to let this run back through the system. We don't need this water. Um, yeah, so it's going to be fully soaked. And then you're going to do this little trick. Let's see if I can. I'm going to put it on the ground here. Hold on. I'm just going to drain this out. So, 
Um, and then you're going to save this and use it for your next seeding. Um, you don't want to save it overnight or anything like that, but you can definitely use it for your next tray of seeding. Um, then, the next step of what you're going to do, depending on what you're seeding, um, you're going to fill out your little plant steak. And right here we have Rex Butterhead Lettuce. So I just have a little Sharpie. I have plant steaks. Now, um, let me just grab this real quick. We have different colored plant steaks, all sorts of different colored plant steaks. Every planting, we do a different color, and that way it makes it really easy for us to tell what's going to get harvested. So here I'm just going to write Rex. Let's see. And I'm going to write the date. And then if this were going into a, um, any kind of a grocery store or something where you want traceability, you're going to write the lot number down on here as well. And so down further here, I'm going to write the lot number of these seeds. That way, if there's any kind of a recall and the, the store comes back, someone gets sick off their lettuce, the store comes back and they say, um, your lettuce made us sick, you can go back and see exactly what lot number those seeds were and then you can go back to the seed manufacturer where you get them and say hey there's an issue with these seeds something like that so clearly this is all the hand seeding method but you're going to take this and you're just going to put these are pelleted seeds um there's a little clay coating on the outside that makes them super easy to seed and also what the clay does is when you get this in there the clay acts as a little uh, moisture kind of coat, and you're going to, all right, that's everything for the Rex. Now, if I had this, um, if I had this entire tray already all filled up, what I'm then going to do is then I put it in a little bit of, uh, I, I'm gonna wet the top again, because that clay um, coating that I was telling you, you need to wet the top of that again so that the clay it makes it a little easier for the for the seedling to break through. So um, I'm gonna put it in here. And this is what I was telling you. So if we just uh, said that all of those seedlings were full, this is what I was saying. And you're gonna take it and you're just going to kind of scoot it all out onto there. And that's and then you're gonna do your second 1020 tray just like that. And the, our trays can hold two 1020 trays. This is a 1020 tray, it's a standard gardening tray you can get these at any gardening store or anything like that so um, that should give you your successful seeding now the only other thing that may you may or may not hear is some growers like to cover their seedlings for the first couple of days so the seedlings germinate in dark some don't we don't um, but some some do and if you take a look over here you can kind of see we're pretty successful with our germination if, if you take a look over here you can see every single cube has germination going on so that's always a good sign so that's the seeding video if you have any questions feel free to give us a call at info at amhydro.com